Okay, this goes along with worksheet 5-9. We're going to be working with solving inequalities with two variables, meaning that they're going to be in slope-intercept form. What we were doing before was just having one variable where we had x is greater than 4, and remembering at 4, you're going to put an open circle because it does not have an equal to bar underneath of it, and you're shading to the right. If you had x was greater than or equal to 4, the only difference in this is that at 4, you would put a closed circle greater than shade to the right. Okay, so now, right here, where, first off, what is this symbol right here? That is less than. So let's just make these notes on here, and we'll understand more when we go through it in just a second. Um, let's see here. Okay. Write down less than, and I want you to write that it's a dashed line. And what this is going to mean is we're going to shade down. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a minute. This is going to be our shading. The next one on here, that symbol right there is less than or equal to. Let me move my little bar down. Oh, I don't. What happened? It disappeared on me. All right, well, there's <clears throat> added in there. I made it disappear here. And my little thing is freaking out on me. There we go. Let's try again. <clears throat> Less than or equal to. Okay. And then less than or equal to, notice that it has a solid line. This is what we're going to graph with is a solid line, and we're still going to shade down. The next one is greater than. Notice that we still have a dashed line. Okay. This one we're going to shade up. Greater than, we're going to shade up. The last one right there says greater than or equal to. We'll have a solid line, and you're shading up. Now, hopefully you went through and did that um, assignment after the quiz, which was 5-8, reviewing, graphing just a regular line, and solving for y, putting the equation to slope-intercept form. Okay? Okay, look at number one. First off, what does M represent? Slope. What number is the slope? Two. What's the B represent? Y intercept. So write those above it, and let's put zero, three. Now, where it says the line, look back at the notes we just took. Did it say with, with this symbol? Well, first off, what is this symbol? Less than. Did they say to use a dashed or a solid line? It is dashed. You can write dashed. I normally just do that. What did it say to do for the shading? Shade which way? Down. So I'm going to draw an arrow down. Those are just notes to help me. Because really, when you go through and you have to, you have to um, graph it, you're only going to see this. These are the notes that I write out to myself so that I make sure I know how to graph it correctly. Okay, so, well, yucky, it's kind of hard to see here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see on yours. First off, you're going to plot the y-intercept, right? <clears throat> 0, 3. So go up on the y-axis to 0, 3 and put a dot. It said the slope was, what was it, negative 2? Or no, positive 2. Okay, so all slope has to be in a fraction, so how do I write it? 2 over 1. How does that tell me to move? Up to, and you guys say an up to and over one, but which way is over? To the right. When we start, we're going to go to the right. 
So I'm going to go up to, to the right one and put a dot. Well, if I do it again, I run out of room. So let's go backwards. Down two to the left one. 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 What type of line did it tell me to use? Dashed, right? Okay, so when I graph it, normally I just leave my dots right there and I just kind of put some dashes in there. What it means is, this is the same as an open circle. In the open circle, was that number, so like when I had this, when it was, a one, when it was just a one variable, and I did an open circle and I shaded, was four a solution? Four was not a solution, right? Because it was an open circle. So since this is a dashed line, it's the same thing. Everything, every point on this dashed line is not a solution. What I like to call it is a boundary line, okay? This is, so this is my boundary line. Meaning that that's where my shading, my shading is going to start one way or the other from that point. But nothing on that line is going to equal, is going to be a solution to my, my inequalities. Now, inequalities greater than or less than, there's always shading, okay? So it tells me to shade, shade where? Down, right? So here's what you're going to do. I always like to start at the y-intercept. Put your pencil on the y-intercept. Draw a line straight down. That's the side of the line that you shade. Everything in this shaded area is a solution. Everything below the inequality line is a solution. Okay, let's try the next one. In this case, you said the right side of the line, um, it's on the bottom side of the line. Less than means go below. Okay, so you're seeing it as the right. It's not that it's always the right. It's just however, it, whenever it's below the line for less than. So any point that is in this area, any order pair like 2, 0, 2, 1, I don't know, 3, 3, all of those points are solutions. And we'll tie that into the applications a little bit later. Okay? Looking at the next one, first off, M, what number is M? Negative 4. Hey, just because I know it's negative 4, should my line be increasing or decreasing? Decreasing because my slope is negative. What's my y-intercept? Okay, 0, negative 2. My line, what is this symbol? Greater than. So is it a dashed or a solid line? Dashed. Dashed. The only time we'll use solid is if it's equal to. Shading. It's greater than, so greater than on your chart says to shade what? Shade above. Okay, so my shading is above because this is greater than. Well, so now let's go down here. Let's put, right now, put your point, put your dot at 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2. My slope was negative 4. Always put a whole number over 1. It's telling me how am I supposed to move. Down 4 to the right 1. So start at negative 2. I'm going to have to move down a little bit more. Start at negative 2, and I'm going to go down 4. 1, 2, 3, whoa. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right 1. Put a dot. I'm out of room, so I need to go backwards. Go up 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left 1 and put a dot. Let's do that again. Up 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left 1 and put a dot. Now, what kind of line did it say to use? A dashed. So, like I said, I normally just do kind of this in between it because you guys don't have your little line thing. Oh, well, ugh, I guess I'm not. I thought it was blue. That's all right. There's my dashed line. Now, it says to graph what? I mean, to shade what? Above. Well, 
Put your pencil on the y-intercept. It's always the easiest thing to start with. Now go on that y-intercept on the y-axis and draw a line up. You can go on any point and draw your line up, but it's always easier, I think, to go to the y-intercept y and draw a line up. This is the side that you shade. This is the greater than side. This is why I was saying that you can't always say less than is to the right or anything. It depends on how steep your line is and the direction of your line. Okay? Greater than is above, so you start at the y-intercept and you go above it and you shade everything above this line. Now, anything in here is a, anything in the shaded area is a solution. So I have two zero, four zero, um, three, one, two, three. Now, what about zero, negative two? Is that a solution? Why not? It's on the shade, it, it's not in the shaded area, it's on the, the boundary line. The boundary line does not say equal to. This is not a solution. For this to be a solution, it would have to be a solid line. Let's look at the next one. Okay, first off, what is my slope? Negative 1 over 4. My y-intercept? 0, 5. My line, is it going to be solid or dashed? Dashed. Now the shading, am I going to shade up or down? It is less than, so I will be shading down. Now let's take this information and go and graph it. I'm going to plot my y-intercept first, 0, 5. My slope is negative 1 fourth. That tells me to go down one to the right four. So I'm going to go to my y-intercept, down one to the right, one, two, three, four, and put a dot. If I do it again, I run out of room. I could go way out here and do it. Or I'll go up one to the left, one, two, three, four. It is a dashed line. because it does not have the equal to bar. Now figure out the shading. It says to shade below because it is less than. So go to the y-intercept right here. And draw a line down. Less than means down, so you're going to shade everything that's a below this line. Anything in the shaded area is a solution. 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 3, 0. Anything in there is a solution. The bottom half, right? Because you said shade below. The top, everything above that line is not a solution. Okay, you shade below because it's less than. Next one. Okay, what's the slope? One half. What's the y-intercept? Zero, negative four. Is my line solid or dashed? See this equal to bar right here? Look, up here. That equal to bar, that means it is a solid line. That means everything on that line is a solution. This symbol is greater than. Greater than means to shade above. So let's go and graph our line. What do I have? Zero, negative four? Okay. Zero, negative four is where I start. My slope is one half. It is positive, so I'm gonna, it's going to tell me to go up one to the right two. So I start here. I go up one to the right two and put a dot. Up one to the right two, put a dot. Up one to the right two and put a dot. Down one to the left two. Now, is it solid or dashed? What did it say? It's solid as a rock because it is equal to. So let's see, I'll just, I'll just connect my dots. 
Everything on that line is a solution because it's equal to. Now the shading, it says to shade above because it's greater than. So put your pencil on the y-intercept. Draw a line up. That's the side of the line you shade. Everything that's above. Okay. Everything in that shaded area is a solution. Everything on the line is a solution. What they're going to test you more than anything about is the points on the line. They want to know if you know the difference between greater than or greater than and equal to. Next one. Ooh. Now I can't just jump ahead and go ahead and graph. Why not? I have to solve it. How do I, this is in stan, like a standard form. You have to put it in slope intercept form. So what do we need to do first? I need to move the x to the other side. So I need to subtract 10x from each side. I get 5y is greater than negative 10x minus 20. Now I need to divide by 5. I get y is greater than. Should I flip the sign? Why not? When do you only flip the sign? When you divide by a negative. So this just becomes negative 2x minus 4. So there's my inequality. What number is my slope? Not x, just negative 2. What is my y-intercept? 0, negative 4. Is my line a solid or a dashed? Dashed because it is just greater than. Shading goes which way? Up. All right, so let's go down here. I've got 0, negative 4. So I'll go down here and put a dot. My slope was what, negative 2? So it's negative 2 over 1. How does that tell me to move? Down 2 to the right 1. Okay, well, let me get down here. Down two to the right one and put a dot. Well, I ran out of room, so now let's go up two to the left one. 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 What did we say, solid or dashed? It said dashed line. All right, let me find me a dashed line. There we go. So I'm going to put my line in there. Now, are we shading above or below? It is, so it's greater than? Yep, it's greater than, so we're going to shade above. Go to the y-intercept. Draw a line up. That shows you what side to shade. Everything above those, that line. We're going to shade it all up here. Everything in the shaded area is a solution. What about on the line? No, because it's dashed. Next one. Take a minute and solve for y. Try that now. Okay, solving for y to get it in slope-intercept form. First thing. It doesn't matter which one you move first. I'm going to move the 4 over first. Doesn't really matter which one you do. I have x minus 2y greater than or equal to 4. I'm going to subtract x from each side. I get negative 2y greater than or equal to negative x plus 4. Now, from here, be very careful because we're going to divide by negative 2. So I get y equals, now we divide it by a negative, so what should happen? Flip the sign, it, well, not equal, what am I doing here? We should have y, and it should become less than or equal to, 
This right here, this messes some people up. First off, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. X divided by 2, there's like a 1 in front of it. So this is 1 half X. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Now this is what we're looking at to graph. My slope is going to be 1 half. My y-intercept is 0, negative 2. The line is solid because of the equal to bar, but the shading is below. Now let's go and graph it. So I have 0, negative 2. The slope was positive 1 half. That tells me to go up 1 to the right 2. So I'm going to start here and go up 1 to the right 2 and put a dot. Up 1 to the right 2 and put a dot. Up 1 to the right 2 and put a dot. If I went backwards, down 1 to the left 2, down 1 to the left 2, down 1 to the left 2. It is a solid line. Yep, solid line because it is equal to. So here's my solid line. Now the shading, is it greater than, I can't remember, is it greater than or less than? Less than or equal to, less than means to go down. Put your pencil on the y-intercept, draw a line down, oh no, not like that, hello. Draw a line down, and you shade everything that is below the line. All of that below the line and on the line is a solution. Next. Right here, to solve, if you're watching the video, you can pause it and come back and see how you do. Right here, I will subtract 2x from each side. I get 4y is less than, no, it's just less than, isn't it? Yeah, I wrote, drew the thingy up there too long. All right, y less than negative 2x plus 8. I'm going to divide by 4. I get y is less than, now, you could leave it as negative 2 over 4, but it's better to reduce it to negative 1 half, x plus 2. There's your inequality. So now, what is your m, what is your slope? Negative 1 half. Your y-intercept, 0, 2. My line, dashed. The shading below. So now let's go over here. No, oh, 0, 2. Okay. 0, 2. The slope is negative 1 half. That tells me to go down 1 to the right 2. So I'll start at my y-intercept, down 1 to the right 2 and put a dot, down 1 to the right 2 and put a dot, down 1 to the right 2, or go backwards, up 1 to the left 2. Up one to the left two. Up one to the left two. It is a dashed line, so I can kind of just leave it with the dots, really. You don't have to add in more. Then it says to shade. It is less than, so we shade below. Oh, golly gee willikers, let's see here. So it's below, so go to the y-intercept. Draw a line down, and it's everything below down here. Color, color. Yay. All right. Next, it should be the back part of your paper. Now you're going to have to go through, and you're going to have to figure out what the equation is from the, from the graph. Right, or did I skip one? Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. I'm going to put M over here, B, line, shading, just because I can't see it up there. All right. First off, the easiest thing for me to always find is my y-intercept. So there it is right there. So I've got 0, negative 4. That's the first thing I always find. 
The other thing I can find very easily is about the line. Is a line dashed or solid? Solid. So I'll draw a solid line. Hey, if it's a solid line, what does it mean that it has to have at the bottom? The equal to, right? All right, don't forget that. My slope. Is my line increasing or decreasing? Decreasing is going down. Start at the y-intercept. I'll go down 1 and over 1, 2. Down 1, which is negative 1, and over 2. My slope is negative 1 half. Now, is my shading, is it above or below the line? Going down, it's shading below. Below means less than. So now to write my inequality, you start off with y. Always start off with y. I have less than or equal to. Equal to because it's solid. My slope is negative 1 half. Don't forget the x. Minus 4. Where'd the pin go? Hello. Oh. This is your answer. This is what you're looking for right here. Okay. Take a minute and try the next one. This one right here, number 9. Okay, so on this one, I find that uh, my y-intercept right here is um, 0, negative 1. The line is solid. My slope is negative. I'm going down 1, and down one, which is negative 1, to the right 1. So it's negative 1. Whoa, not there. Negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Um, the shading... So right here, the shading, it's shading above. To write your inequality, I have y, the above is greater than, solid line is equal to. You can write it as negative 1x minus 1, or y is greater than or equal to negative x minus 1, just like that. Next one. I'm going to make my own notes. M, B, line, and shade. Okay, well, the y-intercept right here is 0, negative 3. I see that the line is dashed. My slope, my line is increasing. It's going up. So I'm going up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see if I go down 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. So it's negative, not negative, sorry. Should be positive 1 fourth. And the shading, the shading is below. So now for my inequality, I have y is less than, do I put the equal to bar? Nope. 1 fourth x minus 3. There's your inequality. That's what you should have got come up with. Number 11, M, B, line, and shading. Well, my y-intercept right there is at 0, 3. My line is dashed. Now, my slope, if I go up 1 and to the right 1, not on the line. Up 2 and to the right one? Sure is. Let's try and double check. Let's go down 2 to the left one. Down 2 to the left one. Yes, it is. So it's up 2 to the right one. So it's 2 over 1, which is 2. The shading. If I start at the y-intercept and I go up, that's where the shading is. So now my equation, y, now the shading is up, so it's greater than. It's dash, so I leave it alone. 2x plus 3. That's what you should have gotten.
Next one, number 12. Oh, there are a lot of questions on that. Yep. All right, here on number 12. First off, we need to figure out the inequality. M, B, line, and shading. Okay. B is right here. It is 0, 5. M, well, I guess the line is solid. M is the slope. Oh, let's see. Let me try and look here. What, do you, what did you guys come up with? Down. I think it's 3. Down 3. Let me try again. Yeah, it's going to be down 3 and to the right 1. Because if you do 2 a couple times, it won't, it won't work out to be the same points. So it's negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3. My shading from my y-intercept right here, it's going up, shading up. My inequality, y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 5. Now, the other questions I have, it says name three points that are in the solution set represented by the graph. You can choose any, any points that are in the shaded area. Do the points on the line work? No? Yeah? It does because it's equal to. So all those points work. So if I chose three of them, it could be, oh, golly gee, let's see. I could have over here one, two, three, four, zero. Oh, I could choose, what does it look like? That is eight, zero. Eight, negative two. Eight, positive two. Anything in the shaded area says name two points that are not in the solution set. That is any point that is over here in the non-shaded area. So let's see, negative 2, 0. I've got negative 2, 0. I see right here, just trying to look, I've got 0, negative 8. Negative 1, negative 8. Any of those will work. Now, let's look at the next one. I know that you're going to see some of these on, a, on your test. So take a minute and try and answer this question. Okay, it says circle the points um, shown that would be in the solution set for the inequality y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 3. Place an x on things that would not be a solution. So the first thing we need to do is graph this. I'm going to first graph the y-intercept of 3. 1, 2, 3. My slope is negative 3, which is negative 3 over 1. Tells me to go down 3 to the right 1. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. Down 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. I can also go backwards and go up 1, 2, 3 to the left 1. Up 1, 2, 3 to the left 1. It says equal to. So I'm going to... Draw a solid line. Do I have any points down there? No. Okay. It is greater than. So as I start here and I shade above, the shading is all up here above the line. But the instruction says to put an X. It says circle the points that would be a solution. So let's start there. Circle the points. So this would be a solution because it's equal to. So is this one. Circle the ones that will. Put an X on the ones that are not in the solution set. Anyway, put a circle on the ones that are a solution. An X on the ones who are not. Now look at the next one. We haven't really talked about systems yet, but when it's talking about systems of inequalities, what it's looking at is this. We're going to go and graph this line first. So let's go up here and graph this one. I'm going to start and I'm going to graph negative 2. And the slope is 1, telling me to go up 1 to the right 1. <clears throat> 
Up one to the right one. Up one to the right one. Up one to the right one. As I continue on. And then down one to the left one. Down one to the left one. Okay. Should this be a solid or a dashed line? It should be dashed. So I'm going to go and I'm going to draw my dashed line. Okay. My shading. Do I shade above or below? It is greater than, so you're going to shade above. Be careful in the way you shade. I'm going to show you why in a minute. Take your shading and just do this. Shade kind of line straight up. The question was, is there a way to put the greater than symbols in the calculator? There might be, but I'm not telling you yet. So, the next one we're going to shade is this one. The next equation we're going to do is this one right here. So, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to plot the point at 0, 3. 1, 2, 3. The slope is negative 1 third. I'm going to go down one and to the right three. Down one to the right one, two, three. Down one to the right one, two, three. Down one to the right one, two, three. And I can go up one and to the left one, two, three. Up one and to the left one, two, three. Now, I'm going to draw, where's my line? It's got to be a solid line because it's equal to. Now, the points that are on this line, on the red line, are they solutions? Yes, they are. Are the ones on the green solutions? No. Now I need to shade in the red. Shading in the red, it says to shade less than, right? So I'm going to draw my lines. I'm going to shade below. What do you notice about the shading? About the two shadings together. They touch. They overlap in a section, right? Uh, where am I? There we go. They overlap in this section right here. In this corner. Or this triangle piece, right? Your solutions are what is ever in the combined shaded area. See how this little section I just did hi yellow highlighting on? They have green and red, right? These are the solutions. They're where the two of them intersect and go over each other. That's what the system, the, um, the solution to a system is. Okay? We'll talk more about this a little bit later. Well, I guess let's do one more, just for giggles, just for Jose. Here's this one. What about the first one right here? Y is less than 2. Well, we haven't graphed this one either. Anyway, we need to do this one. Y is less than 2. What if I had y equals 2. How would you graph that? You would go to 2, right? You would go to positive 2, and you would draw a horizontal line. Now, why am I choosing this dashed line? Because it's not equal to. So it has to be a dashed line. Now, the shading, do I shade above or below? This symbol is less than, so I will shade everything below. Okay, so there's everything below. Now let's go and I'm going to graph the second one. So I'm going to start at negative 1. My y-intercept is negative 1. My slope is 1 half. Tells me to go up 1 to the right 2. So from here, I'm going to go up 1 to the right 2 and put a dot. Up 1 to the right 2 and put a dot. Up 1 to the right 2 and put a dot. Up 1 to the right 2. Or I can go down 1 to the left 2. Down 1 to the left 2. Is this supposed to be a solid or a dashed line? Solid. 2. There it is. All right. Solid line. Here we go. 
Now, how does the shading go? It's greater than, so it goes above. Now, where, where is the shading for both of them? Where do they overlap? Right there. Good description. Right there. In this little triangle piece right here, right? This is the solution where the two of them intersect. That is the solution. Uh, is it always going to be a triangle? No. It's just wherever the two lines intersect, just or two um, sections intersect, it happens to be the last two are triangles. Let's try one more. I can do this one already just from the beginning because it's already set in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to start and I'm going to graph the y-intercept and the slope. Those of you right now, go ahead and try and graph that one. And then the second one, though, what do you have to do before you graph it? Solve it, you have to put it in slope-intercept form. So let's do that now. Let's do that. So graphing the first line, I'm going to go and plot negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to plot the slope of 2. So 2 is going to tell me to go up 2 to the right 1. 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 I'll keep going. Is this going to be a dashed or a solid line? Dashed. All right, so let me move down here. I'm going to go down 2 to the left 1. All right, dash line. Now it says that it is greater than. So I'm going to start here, and the shading is going to go everything above. Okay. So there's the shading for that first one. The second one, I needed to solve and put it in, in slope-intercept form. So I would have subtracted 3x from each side. 4y is less than negative 3x plus 12. Divide by 4. y is less than negative 3 fourths x plus 3. Okay. So I'll start here and I'm going to put plus 3, start at the y at 0, 0, up 1, 2, 3. The slope is negative 3 fourths, down 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 3 to the right, 4. Up 3. To the left, one, two, three, four. Up three. To the left, one, two, three, four. Again, it is a dashed line. So it's, I'm going to put the dashed in there. It says less than. So now I'm going to shade below. Where do the two lines intersect? And that little triangle portion right here. Be careful. Make sure you go to the boundary lines. Okay. So everything right there in that shaded area where the two lines intersect, anything in there could be a solution. And when you do, people are like, well, when do you do um, solutions? Like, when do you do things like this? In the business world, you there's many different things that change how to make a profit. You graph those lines with those, with those amounts, and you're looking to maximize how much money you're making or minimize how, what your losses. So you go through and you look, child labor. Man, you're special. Anyway, it's one of the ways they use it in, in the business world.